Did you know the UP Treasury, uh, basically the people of Uttar Pradesh, pay income taxes for the Chief Minister and all other ministers as well? And this year, this tax bill has run up to 86 lakh rupees. Why, you ask? Because a rule in 1981, uh, when uh, the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh was VP Singh, deemed that a CM and ministers were too poor to pay their own taxes. This has continued for nearly four decades. And since then, 19 chief ministers and nearly a thousand ministers have basically enjoyed a tax-free tenure, while one of the poorest states of India foots the bill. The question is, why is this still going on? To speak more on this, I'm joined now by Anila Singh, spokesperson of the, the BJP, Rashid Kidwai, visiting fellow at ORF, and political analyst Vandana Singh. Welcome to all of you, Miss Singh. Miss Anila Singh, let me begin by asking you, surely, surely, the UP government led by Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath does not condone this and will overturn this at the earliest, I assume? You must try to understand this thing that uh, this law is not two years old. Yeah. It is four decades old and definitely uh, so many governments came in and uh, uh, they went out mm -hmm. whether it was Bharatiya Janata Party earlier or BSP, SP or Congress or uh, uh, military governments. So you can say, I mean you can't say that it is only because of the Bharatiya Janata Party such practice was on. This has come to the notice and it is all because of Yogi Adityanath because he had asked uh, that where this money is going. So uh, it came to in his notice that uh, it is because of uh, the, uh, uh, it, it is the amount which govern, government pays on the behalf of uh, ministers and the CM, uh, the income tax money. So that, I'm pretty sure that uh, Yogi Aditna ji is going to abolish it very soon. Okay, so now that's quite a spin. That's quite a spin. Like I mentioned in the introduction of my show, I have not claimed that the Yogi Adityanath government has brought it down. Missing. I said clearly that this has been going on since, you know, VP Singh's government. So I have not claimed that Yogi Adityanath brought it in. But this government has been in power for the last two years. And the story has come to light after it was printed in the leading daily, um, in national daily today. That's how everyone knows. Now, this is quite a spin if you are claiming today, Ms. Anila Singh, that it has come to light because the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh himself, you know, realized it, found out and that's why now wants to abolish it. The fact is, it should have been abolished two years ago but when you he took over. But you must appreciate... Why take advantage but of you it must for the appreciate. last two years and now will it be returned? Will it be reimbursed to the UP Treasury? No, don't, don't, don't try to, uh, don't try to uh, project as if Bharati Janata Party is accused, uh, as an accused figure in it. Because it is the Bharati Janata Party government in Uttar Pradesh which has, uh, uh, which has brought this topic uh, into light. And as I told you that very soon strong steps will be taken by okay. Yogi Adityanath ji to amend this law. Oh, so, no, Yogi Adityanath ji did not meet this law, but I am pretty sure that in the leadership of uh, Narendra Modi ji, because, you know, our pa supreme leader, he doesn't <coughs> believe in racism, he doesn't believe in VIP culture. He is the one who has stopped it. And Yogi Adityanath ji, uh, like he himself has stopped uh, uh, Lal Bakri okay. culture in Uttar Pradesh, which was so, so strong here. Yeah. No, so, uh, it's, it's, it's great if you are saying that they will reverse it. My question is why not so far and today I will ask questions from those who are in governance, not from those who have finished governance long back and who have been rejected by the people. You will have to ask the questions of those who are in governance today. Rashid Kidwai, I saw you nodding. I'm quite, I'm quite finding the spin very interesting that now the chief minister has brought it to light because the fact is it was a, a, a piece in the Times of India this morning which everyone picked up and then uh, brought it to light. That is why it has come to public notice. And it's great if the outcome is that it's reversed, but the fact is it's been going yes, on uh, indeed. years. Yes, uh, Tamanna, indeed, you see, it's a, it is a, you know, media investigation. Yogi Adityanath has nothing to do with it. See, ignorance cannot be defense. Let us face it, there have been several, you know, characters who availed this, uh, you know, sort of generosity, you know, by the state that they were, you know, ruling. 
and they are holding very important position somebody is a defense minister somebody is a governor somebody is a you know a, you know powerful man in in the in the ruling party now all these people owe an explanation and this not only retrospective effect you know the tax should be uh, collected from them but there should be you know uh, uh, penal this thing uh, i mean the interest also they should pay because just to set you know an example in public life remember the several governments of bjp were there bjp supported governments were there remember bjp twice supported you know mayawati government so all these things are matter of record it is true that all political parties are guilty of it but you know the regional parties have their own you know parameters of uh, probity in public life the bjp which as anila ji was rightly saying is so much against vip culture i mean it should uh, you know it should offer an apology and it should make some corrective uh, you know measures so that yeah. the people at large are convinced that this government or this regime and this political party means business yeah just stopping it from here on actually might not be enough if such big claims are being made i want to bring mandana singh in for a point of view mandana singh successive governments actually should be questioned why they allowed this to happen even as uh, you know salary is kept increasing <clears throat> look i'm not aware of the circumstances why this legislation was passed by that assembly and what was the background which initiated that government to pass i mean the vp singh's government at that time but the larger issue here is are we uh, going to create two classes of citizens one class of citizens would uh, consist of council of ministers legislators and the other would be all the ordinary mortals who do all the hard work and uh, the salary which they earn by the sheer deed of their hard work is taxed i mean it's unwarranted it's something which uh, i mean if something is wrong yeah. it needs to be fixed we can we can just not uh, pass on the buck and saying that we are doing this it shouldn't take that long okay i want to play out it what it should be fixed right away i want to play out what sandeep singh Uh, from the UP government has said today on this issue. देखिए अभी जानकारी में आया था कि पिछले वर्ष का लगभग शायद छियासी लाख रुपए सरकार के द्वारा जो मंत्रियों की इनकम टैक्स है वो जमा किया गया है और मैं आपको एक बात बता दूं कि ये सन इक्यासी से ऐसी नियमावली बनी हुई है तभी से ये परंपरा चल रही है कि सरकार द्वारा मंत्रियों का जो सैलरी मिलती है मंत्रियों को केवल उसका जो इनकम टैक्स बनता है वो सरकार द्वारा पे किया जाता है और जो पर्सनल अगर इनकम है किसी भी मंत्री की तो वो उस पर जो भी इनकम टैक्स है वो मान्य जितने भी मंत्री हैं वो स्वयं उसको पे करते हैं और ये जो बात है अभी विचाराधीन है इस पर माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी से चर्चा करके और ये मेरे संज्ञान में आई है the cover up has begun that we have found out right now uh, you know i have to come back and ask you uh, uh, ms anila singh and uh, i appreciate once again your sentiment where you say that a decision on this will be taken uh, soon why not so far why did it take an investigative report to find out and will it just be enough to stop it from here on will it not be correct to actually return this money uh, taman taman i don't want I don't want to sound rude but even I can say what where was the investigative journalism for 40 years because this uh, law was uh, since 40 years so like uh, today uh, this news came up yeah. in uh, times of india yes so i can very well claim that this this is because this is because uh, like uh, this is because the party leadership wanted this to stop that is where this news has come How, I mean, how I can so? say that. How so? See, but you know that's an leaders. interesting claim. I but mean, how uh, so? Uh, no. How did party I mean, leadership? I mean, you are you are saying why it was not stopped since two years? I can say why this investigative uh, journalism didn't uh, popped up since forty years. Yes, so let us stop exact, this uh, uh, no, no, blame no. game. <laughs> I can very well say. I can very well say yeah. this is the party. This yeah. is the party whose leadership has abolished more. Sorry, more than fifteen hundred unnecessary laws. Yeah. Even this will be abolished. It no, is no. not a huge amount. No, no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why uh, you can't make that comparison. It's an about. interesting They question. They are going to, to advocate me. for it. Yeah, but I want to. Uh, please let me I'll, complete. Let yeah. me. Let me complete. You have. You have asked me something. Let me complete. Okay. And I was hearing Mrs. Vanna saying she belongs to a party whose par party supremo didn't spare even taps when he left the house. 
So, uh, at least Madam, the Madhwani party... Madam, I am here as a political uh, analyst. Uh, uh, I don't uh, belong to Madhwani any party, party like you do. Leaders, they do you have claim a problem? Okay, okay, you have one problem. One minute. One minute. The economy Please. is actually sinking in our country today. No, no. Let's not, let's not divert. Miss Vandana, Miss Vandana, Miss Vandana, hang on. Miss Vandana, hold on. She's here as a political analyst. Let's not talk about it. She is no longer representing any party, including the Samajwadi party here. One minute. Miss Anila, but I must respond to you. I must respond to you before you leave because you made a very important point. You drew a parallel between investigative journalism and governance. Who has the primary responsibility to the people? Are investigative journalists standing for elections and being elected? In fact, I will let my senior journalist, Rashid Kidwai, respond to this even better. Yes, Mr. Kidwai. I don't know how to react. I mean, this is so such a you know uh, a proposition that has no defence. I mean, ignorance cannot be defence for a political. And mind you, all chief ministers were aware. All the 19 chief ministers were aware that their salary or whatever the income tax is being paid by the government. They didn't do it. How does you know investigative journalism come in? A media, whenever they came to know, they have reported it, and they they need to be complimented to say that you know it's a failure of of you know media media and investigative journalism is something that will not hold any water anywhere. I mean, I don't know. I, I hold Anila Singh Ji in the highest regard, but I think this is not a, li a line of defense that's going to work. Fact of the matter is, a wrong was committed and uh, political parties, political masters were fully aware and they availed this kind of, you know, hospitality on behalf of government. Now that media has brought this matter to light, there are many living uh, chief ministers are there. Money should be recovered as it would have happened in case of, you know, ordinary citizens, anyone uh, not paying tax or compelling government to pay tax. So there is, there, there is a uh, need to settle law. I don't think there is any any former chief minister, a living former chief minister who would not be able to you know uh, pay this kind of penalty yeah. they should happily pay, pay it so and okay, I am sure people of India are going to appreciate it yeah. and that's the long and short of it absolutely you know if um, uh, now the situation is fixed then the current government will definitely get the credit for it but the question will be asked that why couldn't you see this happening two years ago I want to thank all of you uh, for joining us today but um, before we sign off some more news from Uttar Pradesh which actually uh, deserves uh, a stronger response uh, than even the tax story, which is a shocking video from Eastern UP's uh, Siddharth Nagar district uh, that has gone viral on social media. Remember, we've been talking about the new Motor Vehicle Act and uh, stricter laws, uh, bigger fines that have come through. Uh, but definitely, when we're talking about implementation on this, this is not what we need. Let's just play out those pictures where you can see two cops physically assaulting a man in front of his five-year-old nephew after he failed to show papers of his two-wheeler um, in the video that child is you know begging them to stop uh, but they do not listen the two policemen pin the man to the ground in broad daylight drag him mercilessly uh, and do not relent at all uh, we now hear that uh, the two uh, police officers have been suspended a probe has been ordered but this is definitely not enough a suspension is not enough there has to be uh, you know, a, a complete resignation from these two and charges of assault being brought against them. You cannot let those in uniform misuse the law like this. It will cast even a bigger shadow on the already controversial uh, traffic fine hikes. This is not the way to implement the law. Uh, on that note, I want to thank all of you for joining us today. That's all the time we have on India Development Debate. We'll see you back here on Monday.